Wow, it's big. Teddy's cream soda. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we have perhaps the largest, actually definitely the largest single bottle that we've ever used for a taste test here on Obscure Cola. This is Teddy's cream soda, old fashioned style. Yes, that is, I guess, supposed to be Teddy Roosevelt. Um, so what is this and where did I get it? Well, I'm in Los Angeles right now. USA and uh, I found this at a Vaughn supermarket. Uh, this was the only size I saw so I had to get it even though it is absurdly large. This is a 26 fluid ounce bottle aka 769 milliliters so this is basically like two whole cans of soda or whatever one and a half 500 milliliter bottles give or take. Um, so yeah I'm definitely not finishing it. It is grande but because this is actually should be too much for one person to drink. Uh, according to the label, this is actually considered 3.2 servings. So yeah, you and your friends can split one of these 3.2 ways, hypothetically, but definitely there's people who drink the entire thing in one sitting and that's actually pretty bad. Although it does say it's caffeine free. So um, yeah, let's give it a try. I'm not a huge cream soda person. I definitely like ice cream sodas. Wow, nice and... Fizzy, that's good. It's kind of like a beer, actually, the color-wise. Good bubbles. Good Teddy Roosevelt here. Top is a little bit hard to get off. Here we go. Yeah, the bubbles look actually pretty good. So no f no uh, vapors coming off, but we do have a lot of bubbles shooting up here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, they kind of like shoot up and then kind of roll up the top of the bottle. Um, there is an embossed Teddy's, maybe you can see it here, here on the side, maybe a little bit, you can see it. Um, but I do, I do not mind cream soda. So maybe a little bit sweet for me sometimes, but yeah, it's okay. So uh, no smell, let's uh, give it a taste test. So... I should warn you, I know in advance I'm going to have an issue with this. So so I try to be organized when I do these videos. So nowadays, especially in the U.S. where the nutritional information is not given in terms of 100 milliliter servings like it is uh, in Hong Kong and Japan and most of the rest of the countries I do. So in this case, uh, you have to do a little bit of math. That's why I had to check the serving size and how many servings are in here, etc. So in this case, it lists, I always talk about the sugar content as well. 22 grams of sugar per serving, and there's 240 milliliters in a serving, and if you do the math, that ends up being about nine grams of sugar per 100 milliliters. And a Coke is about 11, 10.6 in Hong Kong, 11 in the US, 11.4 in Japan, I think, 11.3, something like that. So that's, that means this is below average, but yet cream soda is pretty sweet. So how can you have sweet cream soda having lower sugar than even a cola? Well, the answer is you cheat by using artificial sweeteners. So I did check the ingredients and uh, actually way down here, it does have high fructose corn syrup as a second, you know, it's basically carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, natural and artificial flavors, yada, 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 citric acid, caramel color. But the second to third to last thing is sucralose. Sucralose is an artificial sweetener. And worse than that, the second to last thing is ACE-K. I'm not even gonna say whatever the uh, full scientific name is, but ACE-K is basically like what they use in Coke Zero, I believe. And so it has that. And then the final thing is yellow number five, which is why it's kind of beer colored, AKA urine colored, early morning urine colored perhaps. Um, so yeah. It's basically all artificial towards the end there. And because they're artificial, they're extremely concentrated, which is why they are the last ingredients on the list. So anyway, yes, that means this has both sugar and artificial sweeteners, just like the Coca-Cola Life, which is like basically using stevia, but at least stevia in place of some of the sugar is a natural sweetener, ACE-K, Definitely not. And uh, sucralose, I believe, is also 
artificial. So what are we going to say about this? Well, I don't like the diet drinks and the artificial sweetened drinks because they leave an aftertaste. So far, I haven't sipped that much, but I don't actually have. Maybe because it's so small, I haven't really noticed it. It's way down at the bottom, so it's pretty light. But I can taste something. I don't know if that's the cream soda something or it's the artificial sweetener or something, but there's some aftertaste which doesn't taste good and it's kind of unnatural. So this is definitely, I would say, not the most delicious cream soda I've had. Let's put it at least that way. Um, but I don't really get the strong aftertaste of the artificial sweetener, which is the thing that I really dislike the most. So anyway, yeah, not so bad, but um, I think if I got to the bottom of this, that aftertaste would definitely catch up with. So, there's somebody singing next door in my hotel. Anyway, as always, I have to give my final verdict on all the drinks that I do on this channel. You can tell it's not going to be that good based on what I've said up to now. But let's just say caffeine-free Teddy's old-fashioned style cream soda is sucralose old-fashioned. Ace K, definitely not old-fashioned. Anyway, so that's it for today. Kind of stupid, I know. I'm always bad with my final verdicts. Uh, so yeah, check out other videos that are better than this one. Definitely consider subscribing for more videos not as bad as this, hopefully. It totally looks like pee, by the way. Um, so yeah, stay away from the pee drink. That should have been my final verdict. So anyway, uh, enough yapping. That's it for now. Definitely check out other videos. Consider subscribing. Check out my main channel, which should be appearing here, which is called The Coolest Dad. And in the meanwhile, I am the Obscure Cola Guy, as well as the Coolest Dad. Uh, see you later. Bye. Not two, not three, but four, count on four, special heritage edition bottles from Coca-Cola. So this is a...